Hello bookish friends of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew. This is Drew's Ambitious Reading. Today's video we are here with a brand new video for the first four days of the month. Um, I'm a little behind on my filming because I haven't been feeling well. I had a bad like cough and stuffy nose. I still kind of have it so hopefully I don't try and cough throughout this video. Um, Anyways, today's video is very exciting. I have a lot of books to show off for the month of October. I am going to do my October book haul 2021. So if you love a book haul, stay tuned. Grab a snack. It's a big one. Um, Amazon, Amazon, Target had a sale happening at the same time. They had to buy one or buy two, get the third one for free. And that's what most of these are. Some of these books I got from Owl Crate, from Book of the Month. Um, I went to Barnes and Noble for the first time in a few months, since June, I think. And yeah, there's just a lot. I have books sent to me by friends. Um, yeah, I just have like a lot to show off to you today and I'm very excited to film a book haul. They're always my favorite thing to watch on booktube, so. I'm gonna try and clear some space over by me and make sure I have room. Um, so let's get started. These are in no particular order. So the first book I have I got during the Amazon book uh, book sale and that was The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins. This is Stephanie Perkins' second horror, no horror slash thriller YA novel. Um, I meant to read this last month in October for a little like thing that me and my friend Charlie did. She already read this, she loved it, so I cannot wait to read it this month. I might be reading this in November or I'll save this for December and read it then. I am very excited to read this one because I read There's Someone Inside Your House by her and I loved it. I gave it four stars. It was one of my favorite, it's one of my like ultimate favorite thrillers. Um, which is weird because to four stars and not a five stars. Anyways, this book is so short. I feel like I can manage this in a day or two. So definitely excited to get to this one. And this is the first book I'm hauling. Um, next book is a book my friend Charlie sent to me. She was unhauling some books of hers. And so she unhauled Sherwood by Megan Spooner. I don't know why that took me a minute. Um, this one I'm actually reading in the month of November. This is one of my TBR jar picked that I picked when I FaceTime Charlie, uh, which is kind of funny that this one got picked when I FaceTime Charlie, so we love that. Um, this one I don't know much about except it's a Robin Hood retelling and it's from a female's point of view and still over the male. Um, and that's all I really know. It's a YA fantasy standalone novel um, and it just sounds amazing. I had this and her other book that I actually have in this haul on my wish list for a while now and I'm just so happy when Charlie had these. She was like, do you want these? I was like, um, yes please. So I have Sherwood and I cannot wait to read this one this month. Next book I have I got from Target and that is The Darkness Outside Us by Elliot Schaefer or Schaefer. I'm so sorry. This book I've been eyeing on for a while. Um, I had it checked out from my library for a little bit and then it was due and I was just like oh nice so I was like let me return it and then I went to Target during that sale and this was part of the sale so I was like yes thank you um so I know nothing about this except this is gay in space that's all I really know this follows two boys who get sent to space they're really not friends they're more like enemies so I think there's an enemies to lovers trope in here which I love that trope um, two boys alone in space after the first settler on the Titan trips her de stress single neither, neither remaining country on earth can afford to scramble a rescue of its own and so two sworn enemies are installed in the same spaceship that sounds amazing um it sounds something i would love and i know this is mixed media because it is a sci-fi book so this is also getting read in the month of november because it was also a tbr jar picked already which is crazy because i just put this in my tbr jar like yesterday um <clears throat> next book i have is a new release this one came out this month and that is daughter of the deep 
by Rick Riordan. This is my all-time favorite author. You guys know me. I actually have The Lost Heroes right here. Maybe. <laughs> the Lost Hero right here. This is nothing to do with Percy Jackson. This is an all-new, brand-new Rick Riordan book. It's a YA fantasy with a little hint of contemporary in it. Um, and this is a 20,000 League Under the Sea retelling, so we love a good retelling. And I don't know much about it. I know my friend Charlie said she almost DNF'd it because of how slow it was. So I'm scared to read it and I'm hoping to read this in November as well. Another book on my November TBR. I swear you guys, I read some of these and some of these I haven't. But another book I have is Paru and the Soul Stealer by Lori M. Lee. This one sounds so amazing. This one sounds everything I love. Um, I don't know much about this one though. Like all I know is one of the Rick Ryan and Presents books and I love each and every one that I've read so far. So this is their newest edition. And I think this is a first book in a trilogy. Um, and this cover is just stunning and I know I will love this one. It's a first person point of view, middle grade mythology story. So definitely gonna be reading this for Believeathon when it's happening uh, in November. So definitely look forward to that TBR. Uh, the next book I have is a new release and I actually already read this and I actually loved it and there's actually a book review for this on my Instagram. So that is Tristan Strong Keeps Punching by Kimon Mabala. This is the third and final book in the trilogy. It wrapped up so perfectly. I loved it. Gave it five stars. I almost cried in this book but I didn't. I hold back the tears. I'm like we're not going to do this in the middle grade. There's a character death in here that I was not expecting, and I'm so mad about the character death. Uh, but I'm so looking forward to see if Kimo Mabala is going to write any more middle grade books or what he's going to do with his writing career, because I really love this trilogy. This is a new favorite series of mine, and I'm happy I completed this one last month. Uh, the next book I have, I had an arc of this for a while, and I was going to do like an arc reading vlog but that never happened. Um, so I, now I have the finished copy and I got this at Barnes & Noble and that is Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood. So yes, I have bought a finished copy so I can get motivated to read it, but also this finished copy is stunning. Like these end pages, yes please. Um, this is Lauren Blackwood's debut novel and this one just came out this month. It sounds amazing. Is perfect for fans of Kirsten White and Tomi Adiyami, which I love both authors, so cannot wait to read this and hopefully get a review out for you guys. Uh, this next book I got sent to me. Who did? Who sent this to me? <laughs> I totally forgot who sent this to me. Jamie from Rockstar Book Tours. She sent me Frankie and Bug by Gail Foreman. This is Gail Foreman's newest middle grade novel. This is set in California, 1978, and it deals with these two kids who don't really get along at first, who has nothing in common, but founds out that one of their like place favorite places is getting taken down or something like that. Um, it just sounds amazing. You guys know me. I don't really do summaries on my channel. Uh, so I have Frankie and Bug by Gail Foreman and I cannot wait to read this soon. Uh, next I have is Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. This is a new book by Margaret Rogerson. I read Sorcery of Thorns by her last year and loved it. It was a favorite of mine so I have high hopes for this one. I haven't read her debut novel yet but maybe I will. But this is the stunning Owl Crate copy. And so with the Owl Crate, they have beautiful end pages. And then it's signed by her as well. So I cannot wait to read this. This is a first book in a new fantasy series, which is weird because she only does uh, standalone books. But this is the first book in a new fantasy series. And that's all I know about this one. <laughs> Uh, next book, I love the author's debut novel. It was really good. I read it in one day last year, and that is Why We Fly by Kimberly Jones and Gilly Siegel. Gilly Siegel, I'm so sorry if I butcher your names. Um, I read I'm Not Dying With You Tonight last year and literally read it in a day. I skipped my college class. I read it in a day, could not put it down. It was so good. And when I heard they were having another book coming out, I was like, 
yes please i need it i cannot wait i requested an arc from the company and from net galley but got declined for both so i was like uh i'll just wait for the finished book to come out so i have it in my hands cannot wait to read it um i don't know when i'll read it hopefully next month for december but i cannot wait i know this deals with some more of the black Lives matter movement um so yeah, that's all I really know about this. And I know there's definitely trigger warnings for this book. So this is a YA contemporary that I usually save for the summertime, but I'm probably gonna read it next month because of how excited I am. Um, then I have a romance book that I'm so excited for, which is like so weird of me saying that, but this is Well Matched by Jen DeLuca. Jen DeLuca, I completely fell in love with her last year as well. I read Well Met and Well Played. Yeah, Well Met and Well Played. Loved them. They were both like four or five stars. And now we have the third and final installment. And I cannot wait to see how this series ends. I'm kind of sad that it's ending though, just because I love the first two books. Um, but I definitely will be physically reading this one because there's been some awkward times listening to this um, just because it is an adult romance book. But overall, I'm really excited. This one is definitely getting read in the month of November and I cannot wait to see how the series wraps up. Uh, next book I have is a booktube book and normally I don't really buy these just because some of them I haven't really enjoyed but this person i love with all my heart she is like book two mom for me i guess um and she started the same time around me i think so we kind of connected just because of that and i seen what she's been through with this book and i cannot believe i have it in my hands this is julie from pages and pens debut adult fantasy novel we have a curse and ash by Julie Zanatopoulos. I'm so sorry if I butchered your last name, Julie. Uh, please tell me how to say it correctly. I am so excited for this book. This book is a beautiful cover. This book sounds amazing. It has fae in it. It has a mystery magic in it. And it says, everyone knows you don't mess with the fae on a new moon. Like, say less. <laughs> um, so excited to read this and I cannot wait to see how this goes and I know I will love it just because I love Julie as a person so hopefully this one doesn't let me down. And uh, next I have is Ari, Ari Stardle and Dante Discover, or no, <laughs> Ari Stardle and Dante Dive Into the Water of the Worlds by Benjamin Alir Sons. We have a sequel for this book. It's a long awaited sequel. This is the first book. This is one of my all-time favorite LGBT contemporary novels, and we finally have a sequel, and I'm so excited for it. I cannot wait to read it this month, and that's all I'll say for this one. If you haven't read this book, where have you been the last 10 years? And I cannot believe we finally have it, and I cannot wait to read this one. Another sequel I cannot wait to read is Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco. This is actually my book club pick for the month of November. So if you don't know, I run a book club called Queer Reads where we read books with LGBT characters or just read books that we wanted to read this year. And Kingdom of the Curse was one of the books me and Charlie wanted to read. So I was like, let's do it. Let's make it a book club pick. So this is the November book, book, book club pick and I cannot wait to read it. It's a sequel to Kingdom of the Wicked, which I loved last, read and loved last year. So definitely looking forward to this sequel. And then we have another Owl Crate copy. We have When the Night Breaks by Janella Angles. Um, this is the second final book in the Kingdom of the Cards duology. I read the first book this year, wasn't a huge fan of it, but I wanted to see how this series would wrap up. Um, the next three books I got as a series that is Keeper of the Lost Cities book six, which is um, Nightfall. And then we have book seven, we, which is Flashback. And then we have book eight, which is Legacy. This whole, the rest of the series, it was on sale on Amazon. So I was like, what the heck? Let me just get it. Um, I won't be doing summaries for these. So let's just move on because I haven't read book four through eight yet, but I wanted to get them all in my hands so I can just binge read the series. 
Uh, next book I got at Barnes & Noble, this one sounds amazing, and that is The Black Prism by Brent Ruiz. This one sounds amazing. It's from New York Times bestselling author Night Angel trilogy. It comes an action-packed tale of magic and adventure. That's all I really need to know. The size does intimidate me a little bit, but I know Regan from Peru's Project loved this book and loved the book series in general. I think it's completed now. I'm not too sure if it is or not, but I know I wanted to read Brent Weeks for a while now and I have hit the first book of the series in my hand and I cannot wait to see how this series go and if I will like this adult fantasy book or not. Then I have Fresh by Margaret Wood. Margaret Wood, you guys might know from Epic Reads when she was on the Epic Reads YouTube channel. She has her debut YA uh, contemporary book and this cover doesn't have a dust jacket. It's literally just the uh, cover um, and it has stunning end pages. I bought this at Barnes & Noble after I passed my black belt testing for karate and I was like, ah, oh, this is a nice little reward. I cannot wait to read it sounds everything I love and on to the next book so I don't have to run out of time. And the next two books I got from Amazon sale as well and the sequel for this was six dollars and the sequel literally just came out this year. Um, so we have Nocturna and Octola, I believe is how you said it according to my mom. <laughs> um, I read Nocturna last year, loved it. These covers are stunning and I was like why don't I have these in my collection yet? Um, Every time I kept going to my library catalog, they do not have the sequel, but they have the first book, which is weird. So I was like, what the heck, I'm gonna buy it. The sequel is $6 for a hardcover that just came out this year. So I was like, what the heck, I'm just gonna buy it. Really love the first book. Might have to do a reread, and then I'm gonna jump into book two. Um, next I got at Target and this was Today, Today, and Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This book I was recommended to me by Jennifer Dugan who's the author of Verona Comics. Uh, we read that earlier this year for my book club and then we did an author interview and we said recommend books for people who loved your books but want something more. Um, so she said this one and so I have it in my possession. It sounds so cute and I cannot wait to read it. This will be my first book by this author. So I really hope I love her writing because they got this during the Target sale. Um, and then the next few books I have, I have Dark Rise by S.C. Paquette. This is the first book in a new fantasy series. This sounds amazing. It says, the dark will rise, who will fall, who will stand? Like, that sounds amazing. Um, this sounds like a good fantasy book and one that I'm definitely saving for December. Then I also got Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. This is a new book by this author. This one has been getting a lot of hype. Um, this one was basically another recommendation from Reagan over at Purr's Project. I don't know if she actually read this one. I know she talked about it recently, but I can't remember if she read it or not. But I do rec uh, trust her recommendation and I hope I love this. This is just a stunning hardcover and I know book two comes out next year. Uh, and then at Target, I found the hardcover, not original cover, but the ones that matches my covers of The Throne of Glass by Sarah Jamabas. I've already read this whole series. I loved it. You guys know my relationship with this series. I'm in love with the series. Book seven is my favorite out of all seven books. Um, so I'm just so happy that I have the original cover in my positions and I can put it on my shelf now. And then the next few books I have, I got sent to me from my friend Charlie. That is An Arc of Loveless by Alice Oseman. Can't wait to read this. I love Heartstopper, so cannot wait to read it. Then I have Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. This is the collector's edition that is just so stunning. Like Black Edges, which the original book has red edges. And then there's... Um, fan art in the back if I can even flip through it there's beautiful like fan art right here so we love that cannot wait to see all the artwork in here and I cannot wait for season two of the shadow and bone season to come out soon another book I bought at Target was spell troubles by PC cat and Kirsten cat this sounds amazing this 
sounds everything that I'm looking for in a fantasy and it's pretty short for a fantasy novel too so I was like yes please I'm shocked my library had it so I have it in my possession now um I can't remember if this was the September or October no this was the September this was the September book club uh no, ah September book pick for Beacon and that is Among Thieves by MJ Kuhn um this sounds actually really amazing I haven't heard anything about it beforehand but I read the synopsis of this book and I was like oh this actually sounds like something I might like um never heard of it before so I'm really hoping I would like it but I'm no longer doing Beacon because their books are not very popular and I don't really like that but this one I really like and it sounds like I would love it so I'll read it sometime soon. Uh, next books I got sent to me from my friend Charlie's so we have the Dark Rise trilogy or Dark Shore trilogy sorry we have Dark Shore book one by L Daniel L. Johnson then we have Dark Skies and then we have Gilded Serpent. Um, my friend Charlie read this and she loved it. There's morally great characters. This is going to be a four book series and there's a big battle scene in each of the books. Um, and I was like, I'm sold. And also she did an author interview with her. So I cannot wait to read this. This series sounds amazing. And thank you, Charlie, for giving me your babies. <laughs> um, the next two books i have are from owl crate the september and october pick are coming up so if you don't want to be spoiled skip to the next few books uh we have lake's edge for the september book this copy is stunning as well like can we get a yes please for this one uh this one is an author's debut novel and it sounds really amazing i wanted to read this in october for the spooky season but i didn't have a chance yet so I'm definitely reading this in November or December. So I'll definitely want to read this sooner than later. And then the October book, we got Jade Fire Gold by June C. L. Tan. Um, this sounds amazing. I read the prologue as soon as I got it. And the prologue was so good that I wanted to keep reading, but I didn't. Um, so I'm saving this for December because I love to read a lot of fantasy in the month of December. Um, so the next book I have is The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. This one has been getting a lot of buzz this year. It sounds amazing. My friend Charlie actually just read this book this month and she really loved it. I think it was like a four stars for her, which is a great review. Um, so this is a new YA favorite from Adrienne Young. Wow, that's nice praise. Um, I cannot wait to read this. This sounds like everything I'm looking for in a fantasy novel and yeah, I got this at Barnes & Noble the same day I got the other books that I showed. Um, <clears throat> this next book I got from my friend Charlie as well, and that is Hunted by Megan Spooner. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, um, so I cannot wait to see how this one goes. I love me a good Beauty and the Beast retelling, so we love that. Then Al Crate did the Scorpio Races 10th Anniversary Edition box this year which I cannot believe this book is 10 years old so we have the Scorpio races by Maggie Stiefvater I love this book I read it when I was in like freshman year of high school and it was just so good it was amazing and if you haven't read it November is the perfect month to read it I definitely want to do a reread of this soon and then the last three books of this book haul uh my October book of the month I got the X-Hex by Aaron Sternley, who's also known as Rachel Hawkins. I love Rachel Hawkins' writing. I cannot wait to see what she does with a adult contemporary. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I hear a lot of great things about it. A lot of people have been loving it lately, so I'm so excited to get to it and hopefully read it this year or save it for next year. Um, then Defy, then Beacon did uh, Defy the Night special, which I already had like the original copy, but this is Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmer. This has sprayed edges, and I believe it's signed by the author. Um, this, yeah, it was signed by the author, so that's really cool. Little uh, signature right there. This one I already read the summary for in my September, uh, yeah, September book haul. Um, so yeah, if you want to hear what this one is about, it's in my September book haul. And I'll definitely be doing a giveaway now that I have two copies of this one. 
And the last book for my no October book haul is The Prison Healer by Leninetta Noni. Nani, I'm so sorry. This sounds really amazing. I picked this up. Well, I didn't really pick it up. I got it delivered to me in the mail from Barnes & Noble. I wanted to pick this up the same day I went to Barnes & Noble, but they didn't have it in store, but they did have book two. Um, but this sounds everything I love. I borrowed this from my library and I read a little bit of it before I had to return it. And what I read of it, it was really good. So I cannot wait to see what the rest of this book will be. And it's blurred by Sarah J. Mass. And this thing, Lena, Lena Noni has, is a masterful storyteller, a must read for any fantasy lover. And it's also dedicated to Sarah J. Mass. So we love that. And I know this is perfect for fans of Sarah J Maas, so we also love this. And I think it's a trilogy and it's gonna get completed next year. So there you have it. Those are all the books that I bought slash received slash got last month in October. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a big thumb up, hit that subscribe button, turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me soon read any of these books let me know down below if you want to buddy read any of these books also let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching hope you all have a great day or night and be kind to one another bye